warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Selamat datang kembali di channel The Music Note Apa kabar teman-teman semua? Semoga teman-teman selalu dalam keadaan baik-baik saja Dan pastinya selalu dalam lindungan Tuhan Amin Ya, pada kesempatan kali ini Kita akan menyaksikan video reaksi dari ahli gitar elektrik Saat pemeriksa dan mengamati cover Mas Ali Data dari Selin Dion Yang berjudul My Heart Will Go On Ya, kalau kalian pernah nonton film Titanic, pasti sudah tidak asing lagi dengan lagu ini ya. Oke, okay, bagaimana pendapat mereka? Komentar apa saja yang akan diberikan kepada Mas Ali Bata dan bagaimana juga keseruannya? Daripada kita penasaran, tanpa berlama-lama lagi, langsung saja kita cek videonya. Members of the Fly Music Society, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna get back into more Lip Bata today. As you guys know, I want him to be a staple on the channel. I want to keep reacting to his stuff on here. Play. All right, a Lip Bata, my heart will go on. Celine Dion fingerstyle cover. Here we go. What is up, everybody? I hope everybody has been having a great day and about to be an amazing weekend. I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for supporting the Lip Bata. Good. All right. He, dude, a little bit of, we already know he's a badass. This is not even a reaction. This is just a, hey, you want to get together and listen to a little bit of, just destroy? Let's do this. Here it is. My heart will go on. Celine Dion, fingerstyle cover here on the Metal Mix Save. I see he got a flute out for the intro. Staying true to the original. All right, let's go. This dude is doing crazy things right now to do this. So he's playing the flute, playing the guitar. We got the capo on the F string. Okay. On the, sorry, uh, capo on the first fret. My bad. Playing the flute at the same time he's playing the guitar. I want you to see how he's strumming the chords. The hand he's using to create the chords, right? He's just playing bar chords. He's using his middle finger to strum the last two strings. So he's basically playing the strings like doom, 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 and then strumming the last portion of the chords using his middle finger playing the flute and when he's done with the flute he puts it between his finger or his fingers his toes <laughs> so it doesn't fall on the floor <laughs> oh yeah. ingenious As you guys know, with vocals, right, you can do slides, glides, whatever you want to call it. Basically, right, where you're not, you're not singing the notes, like staccato in a sense. You're not singing note for note, right? You can do a lot of, like, wavering with the notes and the progressions and how you go from one note to the other. You can do that with a guitar as well, right? We see slides and bends and things like that on the guitar. When you're playing a chord your fingers aren't really as free to do those things. But right here, he does it. Yeah. Right? So he goes, immediately he's into that bend right, off, right when he's in the, after the transition into the chord. And as soon as he drops down that bend back to its original location is when the next chord happens. So that's like a transition part.
it's so funny to me that he's he doesn't want to just drop the recorder you know he wants to put it in between his toes so he doesn't drop it i want to see though real quick not to get off track here but if this is in regular tuning or not uh normally he has it on here i'm assuming that it's it's normal tuning just with the capo just to let you guys know when he's playing open strings it's actually playing for those who don't know how a capo works it's essentially like when you're playing guitar right i can show you but the sound won't be on it's essentially like there's somebody yeah. holding a bar across all strings on this first fret and then he's playing everything else so when you're playing open it's actually not technically open it's still playing uh, on the first fret so it's like he tuned up essentially but instead of actually tuning it he's just putting the capo on the first on the first fret i'm assuming that's what it is that's what it sounds like i don't think there's any crazy tuning but again it's a tool to help utilize to make it play easier right make it easier to play excuse me let's keep going <laughs> I also want you to notice that he is uh, basically playing the drums with his pinky, right? So he's hitting his pinky, or I guess his pinky nail, but his pinky against the guitar to kind of create a, like a beat on the one, right? One, two, three, four, one. So he's at least keeping beat like, like that, right? So again, really cool. He's always done this in every, all the ones I've seen, you know, using those uh, bottom two strings, the E string, and A string if it's tuned uh, normally to play a little bit of bass, right? And then using his fingers here to, to basically keep a beat. <laughs> happens here is a key change a lot of pop songs do it so essentially that moving up of the capo made that key change i want to mention too with his with the flute or the recorder intro he's not strumming but he's making the sound by basically all hammer-ons right so it's another technique on the guitar that you can use to create a sound it's how a lot of people you'll see when they're like being fancy with their solos they'll keep doing one like that it looks it looks weird without the guitar, but essentially they're doing that with the solo and you don't need to strum for that. You technically don't need to strum a guitar to make noise with it. Really cool. But yeah, that was that was a key change right there that we saw. What the hell, man? I was enjoying that. Well, I guess that's it. 
Uh, so yeah, that key change right looked like it was a half step up. I'm curious as to why that was cut short, but I'm going to assume copyright stuff. But anyways, really cool, man. I, I love the technique he uses with the guitar and the really cool uh, kind of tricks he does, right? <sighs> All right. All right. I know my first reaction ever I did to the to Lipita was Buried Alive by Avenged Sunfold. I think this has been my favorite reaction of Alipata so far. The fact he did with the flute and the guitar. <sighs> that was incredible. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. If you aren't subscribed to Alipata, I don't know. You're crazy. Uh, and not just with the guitar. I mean, putting the, the recorder in the between toes, man. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to let that go. Um, no, really cool, man. Uh, look, a lip, like I said, a lip bata is a really one of my favorite like reactions to do just because you see a lot of raw talent there. Again, he's super humble. I mean, he's at 6 million subscribers. Yeah. Doesn't say anything, man. This has 17 million views uh, from 2019. So like dude's humble, just play goes on, plays guitar, gets off, posts it. No editing involved, right? I think there's a fade in and fade out. But other than that, like there's no editing involved and he just goes about his business like Massive, massive, massive talent, right? One of the best guitarists out there, I believe. Uh, but if you did like my reaction, I do have a Patreon. Uh, it's not expected or required, but it does help the channel out a lot. If you'd like to go ahead and support the channel, that was great, be great, greatly appreciated. So I do uh, love the support you guys have been showing me. Thank you so much. And please do remember that good vibes are contagious. Yeah. This is beautiful. This is awesome. This is probably the best Olympata video I have seen yet. Oh, he's he's a singer. He plays all sorts of instruments. He's a great dad. He's the whole package. Olympata is amazing. I, you know what I'm gonna do after this? I'm gonna go watch the reaction of uh, of uh, Herman Lee do it because this is just mind blowing. You know what I mean? Like an absolute blessing. You know, and th honestly, this is the first guitar cover I've ever heard of this song. You know, I remember watching Titanic when I was growing up and only hearing Celine Dion's version, which is just like absolutely powerful. I almost wish Celine Dion would do a cover of this song with, uh, uh, well, a cover of her own song with uh, uh, Lipita. I think that would be awesome. Holy moly cannoli, guys. Comment below what your first reaction to this was. Comment below if you're new to the channel. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, it'd be awesome to have you a part of the family. You guys all mean so much to me, and this has just been absolutely incredible. I don't know. I'm still in shell shock. I'm just still in shock of uh, how great of a song this was and how Alipatai just keeps blowing me away. Like, I thought I was blown away when uh, uh, it was, what, Anaku? He was singing and playing guitar, and then now he's, like, playing guitar and doing the flute and just being so perfect and synchronized about it. I don't know. He's an example. Go support him. Uh, feel free to support me if you want. And like I always say, there's 100,000 people out there always watching this. And thank you so much for clicking on my face yeah. and enjoying this song with me. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I am Omar Rodriguez, DJ The Don Ramo, your brother, your uncle, here on The Metal Mix Tape. Yeah, itulah tadi cover Mas Alibata dari Celine Dion yang berjudul My Heart Will Go On versi Panjarsa. Sangat keren, epic, dan luar biasa. Benar-benar skill dewa ya, teman-teman. Pantas saja jika Mas Alibata disebut sebagai Master Panther Star. Ini sih sukunya suku. Mas Alibata berhasil membuat ahli gitar pada video tersebut sampai kebingungan. Dan bahkan sampai terpolongo melihat kehebatan Mas Alibata saat memainkan gitar sekaligus seruling dalam waktu yang bersamaan. Ini bukan merupakan hal yang mudah loh teman-teman. Oke, cukup sekian dulu video kali ini. Sampai jumpa lagi di kesempatan berikutnya. Tetap semangat, selalu bersyukur, dan jangan lupa bahagia. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.